In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compute a duration inside your Arduino program. So computing the duration of a specific action or block of code can be very useful to debug your programs and for example increase the performance or find some piece of code that is taking too long to execute and that makes all of the rest of the program stuck or late. In this basic example, I have just created a function named action. So this is a void function that doesn't return anything and in this I just use delay 1000, so basically I just wait for one second. And now how to compute the duration of this? So I'm going to go in the setup here. So we will need three steps. First, we will need to get the time before we execute the action. So unsigned long time begin. So we are going to use the micro function. The micro function will tell you the current time in microseconds. Okay, this is basically the time since you have started the Arduino program. And this will return an unsigned long. So you have time begin. Then you do your action. So I am just calling the action function because this is where I have put my code. But you can put any code you want to test right here. And after executing the specific action, you are going to get the time again. So unsigned long. And this one, we are going to name this variable time end. And also get it with micros. So first step, you get the time and then you execute the action. And then second step, you get the time again. So now what you can do is simple. You can compute, so unsign long, you can compute the duration. And the duration will simply be time end minus time begin. So when you add or subtract two times, basically, you get a duration. And well, that's pretty much it. So what you can do now is, of course, you can print this duration. So at the beginning of the setup, I'm going to do serial.begin. I put a board rate, okay? And after this, I'm going to do serial.print duration. and serial.println with the value inside the duration variable. And this duration actually will be in microseconds. So I'm going to put in micros. Okay, let's run this program. So uploading, down uploading, I start the serial monitor and we can see duration in micros we have so one million and four. So in this case, this is correct because the delay here was for one second, which means one million microseconds. And we have four more microseconds because simply this is the time it takes for the Arduino to execute this block of code. So great, we have the duration in micros. And now if you want also to print the duration in seconds, well, you can simply compute it. So let's create a double, let's say duration sec. And this will be the duration divided by 1 million. So 1 and 6, 0. And you can add dot 0 to make it as a double. And here cast the duration also as a double. So you get more precision when you make the computation. And now I can do seconds and let's put duration in second. Let's upload the program again. And you can see duration in seconds 1.00 second. So of course you lose a little bit of precision here and usually when you want to debug a program you will want to get the duration in microseconds okay 
because this is where you will get the more precision. All right, and this, so I have put this in the setup function, but you can put basically in any other function. It, it doesn't really matter. This is just some code that you put when you want to debug your program and then you remove it, of course, when you put your program into kind of a production mode. So to recap, first step, you get the time, then you execute the action. Second step, you get the time again. And third step, you compute the duration by subtracting the two times. So time end minus time begin, and you have the duration in microseconds. All right, if you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses to get to know Arduino step-by-step -step in an efficient way by directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.